Hello again. This is G and I'm back with another video. So I thought I'd make this quick because it's something I've covered a thousand times before and you probably already know how I feel about this, but I just wanted to just show this off. So we have this picture here of some character from Xenoblade. I don't know who. I look at her and I just see Shiva, the ice apparition from the Final Fantasy games. It was always one of my favorite summons because, pardon the pun, but she was so damn cool. <laughs> I actually remember, I try to remember if it, if it was Final Fantasy VIII or Final Fantasy X, but there's one summon where she just literally just, you summon her and she just walks up on the scene like it's a, like she's on a runway. You know, she does her uh, her uh, diamond dust attack. It actually might be ten, but she does her uh, diamond dust attack and then once the opponent's covered in ice, she just snaps her fingers. And usually, especially in the early part of the game, the uh, attack would uh, kill them. I just, I just always thought that was just uh, so damn cool. So this image kind of reminds me of that. But what I wanted to cover was less the image itself, although I think it's very tastefully done. And this uh, statement here, this person saying, Xenoblade fans, I'm more familiar with Xenosaga personally. But it says here, Xenoblade fans defend this stuff, let's say. And interestingly enough, this is coming from a man, a male, right? A he, him. So it says here that, uh, and then you scroll down. And then you scroll down and it says, a little bit of context. Her personality is caring, sweet, and motherly. Now tell me if this design matches that at all. First of all. I just, I just think of ice <laughs> when I see this, personally. Especially with the, it looks like snowflakes or some sort of snow-like design surrounding her, right? So I just think of ice because it reminds me of uh, Shiva, as I explained. But, um, uh, Steve, do you think that a woman cannot be caring, sweet, and motherly while looking like this? Is that what you're saying? That that one's personality and one's physical appearance, uh, that a person who looks like this, right, cannot be, uh, cannot have these positive uh, qualities? That's a pretty odd thing, in my opinion, to say that just because she's not, I guess, dressed in a modest look, right? Because first of all, really, real talk. How do, how do you make a visual design of sweet, caring, and motherly? <laughs> I guess what, you throw her in a, in a 50s house dress and an apron? Is that how you would do it? I'm wondering. But this is, this is by no means nothing new. In fact, I saw a video on Clownfish TV where they said that Jessica Rabbit is going to have her image uh, um, toned down a bit. A, one of the uh, Disney rides that they're gonna put a, uh, a trench coat on her to uh, hide the uh, girls. Anybody fam familiar even casually with the character of Jessica Rabbit knows that despite her, you know, uh, vixen femme fatale appearance, she actually uh, has a very happy, healthy, loving relationship with her husband Roger Rabbit and everything she does in the film is to either help Roger or rescue him or save him in some fashion. In other, in other words, everything she does is for Roger's benefit. But it was in looking at, at, at these two tweets, it was in looking at these two tweets that I came to realize something. There seems to be this very strong divide, right? Uh, very binary thinking, right? That a woman cannot be two things at the same time. And a woman cannot be beautiful or have a full feminine figure or be sensual and have positive qualities like being sweet and caring and motherly at the same time. It reminds me of what is known as the Madonna whore complex or syndrome or dichotomy, which is described here. I believe this is from... Uh, the American Psychological Association, copyright this year. But it says here in the abstract section that the Madonna whore dichotomy 
denotes polarized perceptions of women in general as either good, chaste, and pure, Madonnas, or as bad, promiscuous, and seductive whores, right? And then it talks about uh, where it focus, where previous theories focused on uh, unresolved sexual complexes or psychological tendencies. It says here that feminist theories su suggest that the Madonna whore dichotomy stems from a desire to reinforce patriarchy. And then it talks about uh, surveying about a hundred Israeli men, interestingly <laughs> enough. And it says here that there was a positive association between the Madonna whore complex and patriarchy enhanced, enhancing ideology. And then it says that uh, it lists a bunch of other things such as sexist attitudes and whatnot, right? It says that, uh, that these findings support the feminist notion that patriarchal arrangements have negative implications for the well-being of men as of women. Sorry for the hiccups. It says that the Madonna Horde dichotomy not only links to attitudes that restrict women women's autonomy, but also impairs men's relationships with women, right? And it, uh, it talks about how with, with uh, increased awareness uh, that professionals such as couples therapists as well as the general public can help foster more satisfying heterosexual relationships. Now, take this for whatever you will. I'm not trying to say that it's the one true definition or understanding of the Madonna of the Madonna whore complex. But I do find it interesting that this type of very binary either or type of thinking is incredibly prevalent online, at least on Twitter when it comes to the, to the depiction of fictional women in video games or comic books or whatnot, right? Whereas individuals like myself and people who grew up with very sex positive media and media depictions of strong, feminine, powerful women who sometimes were sexed up and sometimes were not, right? Most people, I think, who grew up with a with a with a much more sex positive, uh, I guess, examples in in the media, right? I think that we understand or or grew up understanding that a woman could be anything she wanted to be, right? Like the song "I'm Every Woman," it's all in me, all that stuff, right? She could be an action hero. She could be a mother. She could be this. She could be that, right? But now, for whatever reason, there's this incredibly binary, extreme thinking that a woman is one or the other. She's either the Madonna, right? She's either uh, sweet and caring and motherly, and there's nothing sexual or sexually appealing about her. One second. Or, you know, she's... Uh, I guess you could say the uh, whore, right? Right, or she's you know this sexy seductress, right? Only made for the male gaze and for men's uh, sex appeal, or, or 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 what men find sexually appealing, I should say. As I was saying, right? There's either this, you know, she's motherly, and there's nothing sexually, um, I guess, forward about her. Right, or sexually aggressive or provocative. Or, you know, she's on the complete other end of it where, where, where you know, she's just sex on legs and because she is very sexy and very forward with her sexuality or sex appeal, that must mean, you know, that she's just a sex object made for uh, men's pleasure. And, and I just find it to be very extreme, binary, and just very sex negative uh, and demeaning way of thinking. Believe it or not, both sides can exist in the same person because women are people 
<laughs> and the best characters in any medium are the ones who are complex, who can balance things and display things that are, you know, that might seem at odds at first, right? Like, I always default to, like, you know, Samara from Mass Effect, right? Beautiful, sexy, incredibly feminine, was also a married woman, lives by a very strict honor code, <laughs> right? Has a very masculine call and is very solitary samurai-esque life, which is even lampshaded in the game. And her defining sort of, of story in the games is her very strained relationship with her daughters. To the point where you have to hunt, help her hunt one of her daughters down, right? She's a warrior, she's a mother, she's a widow, she's a lesbian, she's a warrior, she's a great many things. That's what makes her interesting. <laughs> but apparently, you know, apparently these days, at least if you go by Twitter, women cannot be uh, a dichotomy. We cannot be, you know, the, uh, the, how do I put it? We can't have any personality, I guess is the way to put it, right? We can't have any complexity, especially when he talks about how, oh, you know, her, right? How, tell me if this design matches at all. This reminds me of the whole Sindel drama. And I'm not going to harp on that too much. I've said more than what I need to say about that. But anybody um, who's familiar with the classic version of Sindel from the Mortal Kombat games knows that the, the whole point of her character was that she was never what she seemed. Right? She was dark and scary and scream queen and gothic so you would think she's evil and she's presented that way as such in the beginning but then in the same game in Mortal Kombat 3 right if you win at the end you play as so you win at the end you realize that oh she was under mind control you know she's actually a very good person and she loves her realm and she loved her husband and she loves her daughter right she was actually you know the the ideal feminine in the sense that she was the good wife, queen, and mother. And then, of course, because nobody understands <laughs> uh, complexity, right, at modern-day NetherRealm Studios, when they brought the character back from Mortal Kombat 11, uh, they said that they uh, revamped her personality to now make her a lusty whore and, you know, uh, uh, in pursuit of domination and privilege because her personality didn't match her appearance when the whole point of the character and the originally was that her personality and her appearance were at odds that was the point don't judge a book by its cover and yet well we're still judging a book by its cover quite sad quite sad that Steve here thinks that that a woman cannot embody these qualities and look like this which I think she looks very pretty uh, but Modern day Twitter, everybody. Modern day, modern day Twitter for you, right? They'll, 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 you know, say that they're fighting for women's rights and then they'll say something completely sexist like, how in the world can a sweet motherly woman look like a sexy ice maiden woman person? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe because women who are mothers typically have a sexual side. That's how they became mothers. <laughs> but anyhow, uh, that's the video. Please let me know what you think, and I will see you all the next one. Have a good day and night wherever you are. Bye.